Nine months ago, the September 13th, 2018 Nintendo Direct announced Isabel for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and with it, a mainline Animal Crossing title for the Nintendo Switch. With the initial date of mere 2019, absolutely no other information, not a screenshot or trailer, has been announced since, until today. At E3 2019 this year, Nintendo on June 11th, 2019 released a two-minute trailer showing a release date of March 20th, 2020. They also showed over 20 minutes of gameplay at the Nintendo Treehouse right after. When the trailer first started, a human announcer came on. Your attention, please. My thoughts of it being Animal Crossing next vanished. At this point, we still had no idea if Animal Crossing was even going to be shown at E3. Then she went on. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. I thought, Nook, alright, this could be it. The trailer and Treehouse presentation went on to show tons of new features and changes to the franchise. They added resource gathering and harvesting, crafting on Tom Nook's workbench, creating your own paths without patterns, as well as the paths going up to the door of your house, furniture that you can place both outside and inside, pole vaulting over rivers when there is no bridge, 8 player multiplayer, black skin as a customization option, villagers wearing dresses and other types of clothing instead of always wearing short sleeve shirts, moving furniture in half increments like Happy Home Designer, 20 inventory spots, drop in drop out gameplay, smartphones for villagers, the nook phone, and tons more on top of that. In the next few weeks I want to delve way deeper into all this stuff and speculate about all the new changes that may or may not have been hinted at from the gameplay so far. I'll be going frame by frame from all 25 plus minutes of gameplay that was shown at E3 this year. Many people were disappointed about the release being pushed back to 2020, but really, the delay was almost inevitable. It was definitely a bummer, but with no news about the game at all, it was hard to expect for it to come out a few months after the first trailer. Announcing a delay this early in 2019 isn't that bad. With no news on it up to this point, it would be kind of hard to let a delay be known beforehand anyway. It's not like we heard nothing all 2019 and then suddenly in November they announce a delay. Could have been a lot worse is all I'm saying. They said it best at the end of the Treehouse segment, looks like the game is almost done but there's tons that they still want to work on. Them delaying the game will make it that much better when it finally does come out sucks hearing them have to apologize profusely about the game they are working on. As Miyamoto says, a delayed game is eventually good. A bad game is bad forever. To those worried about the design styles from the gameplay we saw, the game is still super early in development. When the first trailer for New Leaf was shown, it looked much different to what it looks like now. I'm sure the game will look great by the time it releases in March. People say the game looks small or that the map seems tiny compared to what they were expecting but in all likelihood, the plane will allow you to travel to other islands or towns or areas that have more customization options. The game is going to be a lot bigger and expansive than you think. If you think this game will stray too far from the rest of the mainline games, there's always New Leaf. It's possible the best Animal Crossing game came out in 2012. So that's Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. We have nine months until the game comes out. I plan on reviewing every detail of the content we have gotten so far in this new game, and as new info comes out I'll be making videos on that too. I expect stuff about the multiplayer we saw, outdoor furniture versus public work projects, and tons of other aspects as we uncover and speculate everything we can about this game. In the meantime, I have quite a backlog of games I'll be playing and streaming over on Twitch. Banjo-Kazooie, who was just announced as a DLC fighter for Smash Ultimate, Tons of Legend of Zelda games, Mario, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and especially speedrunning Splatoon 2. Plenty of games I want to play before I devote my life to the new Animal Crossing, and luckily I have plenty of time before that happens. Always gotta think positive, right? 
I started up a city folk town yesterday since I never really played that game, so expect some videos and updates on that town as I go along. If you want to stay updated on new analysis videos from me, check out my socials.